Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the Tweaking.com Windows Repair Kit. So it says 2021, but it seems like they do keep it updated. And there's been a recent update uh, this month, actually. So there's two versions of it. There's the free version, which lets you do a few things. Then there's the pro version, which you can do a lot more things. So if you do the pro version, they have different prices depending on your needs. But I think the basic, you know, one computer per year is 25 bucks. So if you use this on, you know, your computer a lot, you might want to check that out or maybe buy one of the other plans if you plan on using it on other people's computers. So when you get to the main screen, you have this uh, welcome screen. Click step one to begin. So there's there's four steps here. Two of them are important. So the first one, they want you to do a proper reset first. You know, obviously, if you're having problems, you should always reboot to see if that fixes it, if it's, you know, something that could be fixed by a restart. Uh, step two is optional, which is a pre-scan. And I have a picture of it here because it took a while to run. So here's what it does. It'll kind of go through, check the package files, uh, reparse points, environment variables. And then there's some options down here to re re do some repairs if there's any issues. And then there's step three, which is check the file system, which I have a thing for here. So it's just pretty much running a check disk within the program itself to see if you could fix any problems. Or you could have it open check disk at next boot. And then there's step four, which is optional, which is the SFC, you know, scan now command, which everybody's used to running. Let's check the uh, Windows system files. So it'll run that for you. So those are the four getting started options. And then at the top here, these are, that's under pre-repair steps, by the way. You have your backup tools, so you can see you could do a registry backup, a system restore before you get started. And by the way, they want you to run this in safe mode for the best results. They seriously recommend it. So you could click that to reboot in safe mode, then you could run it the way they like. All right, then there's uh, permissions backup, which is a pro feature. So if you click on it, it's going to say, you know, no go, unless you have the pro. So then you have the repair section. So there's all repairs and then there's these presets for certain types of repairs. So if you go to open repairs, it says I understand the risk because it wants you to boot into safe mode to do it. So I'm just gonna do it in regular mode, but I'm not gonna run anything. So you have all repairs like we just saw on the main screen. And so here's all the repairs it'll run. So obviously you're not gonna wanna run all of these at the same time because if you have all these checked and click start repairs then I think it's going to run them all there so you don't want to do that and then you can break it down into common repairs malware cleanup permissions only and windows update and another pro features to run custom scripts and and open system tweaks which is you know you can't do here and you could create your own preset if you want to do that. So once you just find the ones you like, just check them and then start the repairs. So I'm going to uncheck everything. Let's see if I can just pick a simple one here. We'll just do some repair icons and repair CD, DVD, missing, not working. Click on start repairs. Okay, then it says system needs to restart to take a, for the changes to take effect, so I'm not going to do that. We kind of see here what it did here. Okay, so you can see it says it's still running down there, but that's because it wants to uh, restart the system to finish. So we're not going to do that. So let me just close out of this. Go back in the repairs. And you have your logs, once you run stuff, and repair info. And down here you can see it kind of gives you some drive information and memory used, CPU used, that type of thing. And you have some more stuff for the Pro, the advanced repairs, Windows firewall cleanup, unhide hidden files, missing package files, rage cleanup, restore default printer ports, some advanced tools, Managing users, uh, services, enhanced disk cleanup. So this is a nice feature too to uh, turn on the the uh, press F8 
uh, key for booting into safe mode, which is disable unless you enable it. Then you have the settings. You could have it start with Windows, launch the tray at startup, remove from startup if you don't want it, check for updates, and so on. And you could buy the Pro key. So that's just a quick overview of the free one. And then you can see the Pro one has a lot more options. So this might be something you will uh, find useful if you tend to uh, work on other people's computers or even for your own computer. So I'll put a link in the description. You could check it out, download the uh, free version, and decide if you want to buy the uh, Pro version. All right. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.